Namaste, my kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages today. This is a collective reading for all signs, and I'm wishing you all love, peace, healing and prosperity okay this message will be an uplifted guided messages from spirit okay for a lot of you i got an energy um the dm your dm wants out okay but the karmic they are with is holding on for dear life okay Spirit wants you to know you need to remain cool, calm, and collective, okay? Or cool, calm, and collected, okay? However you would like to word that, alrighty? For some of you, I'm getting that you are being cool, calm, and collective, and then for others, you're losing your mind, okay, over the situation. You don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to feel. Spirit is saying, remain cool, calm, and collective. Your divine masculine will be back, okay? So, let's go ahead and pull some messages, alrighty? And tap in a little more and see what other advice Spirit has, alrighty? Spirit. Please provide me messages for the collective around this karmic holding on for dear life. Alrighty. What messages do you have? I don't know why I just got saber tooth <laughs> tiger. Like, like this karmic is holding on with a really tight grip. Like. Alrighty, but you're the lioness collective. Alrighty, so for a lot of you, I just got this karma does not want it with you. Alrighty, if you wanted to really give her the business or him the business, you would. But spirit is telling me they're not worth getting out of character for. Alrighty, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path already so yeah for for me this is letting me know that your divine masculine is on a whole nother path they're on a path of healing they're on a path of um divine spirituality okay your divine is looking more inward and they're trying to heal their um their toxic masculinity or any childhood wounds and they're choosing to go a dip a different path from this karmic okay any additional messages for me and i also got here that a lot of you are already on that path a lot of you are already on the spiritual path your divine masculine is trying to get on and that keeps you all connected okay um, for some of you, I'm getting, um, you may have children with this divine masculine and they may come by to see the child or, um, something of that matter or something along those lines. And they see you lighting sage and Palo Santo or, you know, and they're trying to get on that level. Okay. They're trying to, um, walk down that path now. And I'm getting here for some of your divine masculines. They do, um, light sage or, or whatnot and that karmic is like ew what is that Ugh, that stink or something like that like they don't understand it okay um we also have calling in your soulmate okay your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together Alrighty, so this is why spirit is saying remain cool calm and collective because your person is coming back 
all the visual visualizations you're doing, the prayers, your affirmations, okay? It's still bringing this person towards you. I don't know if some of you watched my last video and um, the title was, it's a positive energetic pull for me, okay? You're positively um, pulling your person back in, alrighty? And then we have trust. Again, this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? Remain positive, okay? Stay steadfast, alrighty? Know that this is your divine counterpart and nothing or no one, not even this karmic, can, um, can stop this, okay? They're trying, though. I mean, they're holding on tightly, okay? But your divine masculine is on the way. I'm on my way. <laughs> Look at that. The Knight of Pentacles. It's taking some time, okay? It's not going as fast as you would like, collective, but I'm hearing divine timing, okay? There's going to be a celebration, okay? Once you guys come back together in union, okay? Alrighty, Spirit. Provide me with messages for the religious factors here. In regards to this karmic holding on tightly to the divine masculine or feminine of the collective. Yeah, see, we have the seven of swords here. So this this karmic is doing some sneaky and vindictive type things to your masculine. OK, they're being very, very um, deceitful. OK, there's, there's some deception still around. I'm hearing here with the religious factor. Um, your your the your divine's karmic is um i just got they're hiding um some of their religious tools that they use like i said if they have some um sage or palo santo or some type of incense or crystals or something they're hiding it they're um throwing it away even they're they're um yeah they're doing some sneaky type um things to your uh divine in regards to this religious factor i also got here they're they're going to um maybe the pastor or the spiritual guy is speaking very negatively on your divine masculine okay speaking negatively on his his or hers name all right we have the nine of pentacles again okay but this is slowly going to come to a halt this is why he or she is moving away from your uh, from that karmic okay because they know they mean them no good they're detrimental to their health and their wealth okay because with the um the seven of swords with the knight of pentacles okay they this karma could be slowing down your divine masculine's uh or feminine income Already, they could be um, talking, uh, uh, slandering your person's name already to people that they work with or they connect with um, financial, financial wise that they have business ties to already. What's the calling in your soulmate? So, yeah, they're doing whatever they can to sabotage your divine, but they think that it's going to keep them closer, but that's just moving them away, even further away. We have the knight, uh, I'm sorry, the king of swords here. So <laughs> your, your person is going from the knight of pinnacles to the king of swords. Okay. They're going to, they're, they're working their way up to be brutally honest with this karmic. Okay. When they let this karmic know that it's over, it's going to be over like that. There's no warning. There's no second chances. There's no, Oh wait, let's work it out. There's not going to be any of that because that's, this is going to be the day when they leave this karmic that the last day of you calling them in already. And they're done. Alrighty. Give me more. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, this, um, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So your person is yearning for, to be single. They want out of this. With this Page of Wands here, I'm getting the, their karmic is very young minded. It could be a young fire sign. Okay. I'm getting maybe a younger Leo or, um, Sag. Okay. What's the trust here in regards to 
yeah trust that your your wish fulfillment is coming in with your person already spirit wants you to know that everything you've been wishing for all the prayers and affirmations you've been putting out there into the universe is coming into fruition okay the fact that you're walking by faith and not by sight is pushing this person more and more towards you, okay? Spirit is letting me know that you all may have people around you who are like, you need to let this person go. They're never coming back. They're no good. Why do you want them? Like, I don't see what you see in this person, but you do. You know this person inside and out. You cherish the positive moments that you've had with this person and you're holding on to that. Alrighty, and you know this person's um, potential, you know your person's um, lifelong goals and dreams and aspirations, and your person is manifesting these things, even though they're with the karmic, but it's not going to get much further if they stay with this person, and your, and your person knows that. If they stay with this karmic any longer, um, shit may just fall to the wayside, okay? But I, your your divine partner is on their way out. Yeah. So what did I say? We have the the ten of wands with the three of pentacles. Okay, they're working with other people on this ending with this karmic. Okay, um, the the karmic think that they're being really slick by what they're doing. But I'm getting here with this. When they try to run and talk bad on your person's name, whoever they're talking bad to goes back to your person and let them know like, hey, you know, so-and-so just came by and try to say this and that about you and um, you got to watch her. You got to watch him. Like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> they're just digging themselves a deeper and deeper hole here. All righty. So don't you worry. Remain cool, calm, and collective, okay? What's the uh, Seven of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, please? In regards to religious factors. And the collective remaining cool, calm, and collective. <laughs> what did I say? The star card. Your person is a star in their own right. Your person is on their way up and you're already there collective or you're working on your stardom as well but i'm getting here you you all are going to come together in love and light and prosperity okay you all are each other's wish fulfillment like i said spirit is letting me know to let you know do not fret okay This person, your person, is working on divine healing, okay? They meditate a lot, okay? Um, I'm getting this for some of you as well. Some of you may journal already. Um, I'm also getting two for you collective. Some of you need to start taking spiritual baths or spiritual showers while you're in the shower, okay? Start manifesting with water. Alrighty, or some of you already do that. Alrighty, we have the Knight of Cups for calling in your soulmate. Your person is coming in for you, okay? They are they are just needing a little bit more time, okay? I'm getting this is this is this is well overdue, okay? If if this person doesn't come back by the end of this month, I will be surprised, okay? But of course, you guys know energy is fluid. You never know when this could take place. It's probably already took place. But that love offer is definitely coming in, okay? Give me one for the trust, okay? With the Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups. Yeah, we have the Four of Cups, okay, with the hair fine again at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, this is the same divine masculine from the other read, okay? Um, you guys, are, some of you are dealing with the Taurus, okay? But with the Four of Cups, I'm getting here, um, this, this karmic is fucking spoiled, 
okay? Your person does everything they can possibly do for this person and they're still unsatisfied. They're still not happy, okay? Okay, I feel that this card gives me like you can give this person anything they want in the world and more and they're still not satisfied. They're still like, Ugh, I don't want that. I wanted the the uh, gold Louboutins, you know what I mean? Or why'd you get me rose gold? I wanted gold or, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, really? <laughs> We're there now? Alrighty. But with the nine of pentacles here, your person madly and wants to be single so bad so that they can be available for you, okay? So don't worry, collective. They're coming, alrighty? Give me the overall energy for the collective to be cool, calm, and collected, alrighty? I'm proud of you all who are already in this energy, alrighty? I just heard here you catch more bees with honey, alrighty? Remain your natural, sweet, loving self. They're already dealing with the devil, alrighty? So they don't need any more of that. <laughs> Ten of cups, wow. Remain cool, calm, and collective. It's coming. Yes, okay. We have the, the Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, okay? This person is yearning and will be coming out of this Nine of uh, Swords. But I'm getting here too. When this person comes rushing into you, again, it's going to leave this karmic fret um, and agony and um, irony. Like they're going to be... They're going to be in distraught and distress, okay? But it's their fault. They ran this person away, okay? Like I said, with the Eight of Wands, this is going to be happening really soon for a lot of you, okay? If it hasn't already happened, that Ten of Cups is coming in. You're ready. I just got the energy of a lot of you collective. You already have your home front set up for this, okay? I love this. So remain cool, calm, and collective. Remain in your positive energy, um, and keep doing you and being you, okay? Don't worry about this karma. Yes, they're holding on to your person tightly, but that does not mean they're going to stay, all righty? So I hope this helped. This was a daily, I'll, I'll call this a daily, all righty? I'm still, you know, getting into the groove of things, but I honestly hope this helps someone. I hope it resonated. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Ashe.